way behind in the scorecard and has to pull it out in the last couple of rounds. Find something to unnerve Rockman. He hasn't been able to do it. Actually, the guiding light of the veteran trainer, Jax Morton, really settling Rockman down. Looked like in the early rounds he was susceptible to the uh, trash talk of uh, Trevor Bourbon. But Jenks Morton was uh, just about to see it all. And uh, right now, it's his privilege of the youngster helping him to get through in this fight. Oh, yeah, outstanding trainer. He's been able to, it's like rock em, sock em robots. Rock man, rock man, sock em, robots. And he's been able to guide rock man through this fight. He's been able to set him down and try to fire him up. Remember the last round, he wanted him to pick it up a bit, try to explode, try to go for the KO. Now by the ninth round, he's only scheduled for 10, and the turn is better on like Trevor Burbank can go 10 in his sleep. Trevor has been 10 or more 22 different occasions. Even though he's almost up to sleep tonight, though in the first, he may be going into sleep. I, I tell you, I've known a lot of fighters who've been knocked out in fights, and they don't wake up until they get back in the back. Uh, in the shower, or they wake up in the fight, like they miss the middle rounds, and they, and they are awakened in the eighth and ninth. Well, I think Pat Burns uh, might be looking at this as if Herbig has been the fighting in his sleep for the last eight rounds since the knockdown. He just has not seen enough aggressiveness out of Burbick. Nice punches. He's been real aggressive in his talking. He's caught the punches. He has, he gets hit ugly. When, when, when Trevor gets hit, it's, it's an ugly sight. Trevor Burbick supplying one of the most colorful knockouts in boxing history at the hands of, of Mike Tyson. He really holds a place in boxing history when you, you think of it. Former heavyweight champion. The victory by Tyson over Burbick. Tyson becomes the youngest heavyweight champ of all time. And Trevor Burbick is one of the few fighters to hold a victory over Muhammad Ali in 1981. Ali approaching the age of 40. And, uh, Trevor Burbick with a 10 round decision over the great one. This is it, Trevor Burbick. A lot of talk before the fight. Says he uh, feels younger at 32 than Rockman is at 23. Going up against one of the rising young heavyweights, Burbick looking to make a statement that he can still contend in the heavyweight division with his experience and at 42 and his new earth diet. If he could fight for another 52, or, or 10 years here, he is 52, but he has not backed it up tonight. And for Hasim Rockman going to 10 rounds for him, he gets the experience that he needs on his way to getting a victory over a former world champion. And right now it is Rockman looking to kick him out. He is swinging from the waist. It would be dangerous too if he leaves himself wide open. Burbick looking for that one shot to dramatically turn it around. And in any fights you see two fighters in that final round who really want to pull it on strong and they leave themselves open. And they the uppercut by Burbick inside. Burbick's throwing more punches this round. An old blow fight. He has a touch. Irvin's sensing the urgency. Perhaps looking for the sensational comeback victory. Well, that's the only way he's going to win it. Rockman trying to smother those punches. Landing big left hook. Just throws Irvin. With all the steam out of him. Best round of the fight. The final round. We're coming down to the final minute. 
Only Burbick should have been fighting this fight all night. Burbick has tried to run away from Rockman, and Rock is at the end of his punches. Try to box with him. Downstairs to the body goes Burbick. Again, Burbick now is open. Tony Perez looking closely. Rockman right now as Trevor Burbick. And Rockman celebrating right in the face of Burbick. Seconds of the fight. Here I am, says Rockman, and he finishes strong. Starts with power, ends with power. That's Morton helping to bring him through. The Rock said he was ready for a former heavyweight champ, and uh, he is about to put the 18th straight W on his ledger. We'll be back with a decision. In just a moment on USA's Tuesday Night Fights. Mm. Did not know Bo Diddley was here with us tonight at ringside. The hug from Burbick for Jenks Morton. And uh, we are ready for the decision. Rockman has to be very pleased. And let's find out now. Let's go to Patrick Waldron. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here at Caesars Atlantic City, we go to the scorecard. And in this bout, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Steve Weisfeld scores about 99-89. Judge Barbara Perez scores about 97-91. And Judge Alan Rubenstein scores about 99-90. All for the winner, Hasheed The Rock Rockman. He takes the next uh, step up. Uh, what was tonight's performance worth for Rockman? Well, this is the, this is only the second time that he's been the 10-round distance. He has to bring that experience now with his career. Also, he has a win over a former world champion, even though. He won every round on my card, he went convincingly. I mean, he picks that up and puts it on his record. Now, all of a sudden, people start paying attention to Haseem Rockman.